What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more AFK Journey, and today we're going to be talking about Battle Drills and the by far best team you could possibly have right now that has been discovered. Now this is definitely one of those Analytica type teams here, you can see right here, I'm going to jump over to here, uh, enlarge a little bit. This is the squad, yes, it is continuing to be the Light Bearer team, this does require you to have 17 to get the two tiles in the faction talents and this is all about energy spam now uh, you would think we'd actually be using the tide call one but we're actually not we're using resonating and this team so far has scored the best of the best so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump into the game here and go into our game modes here because we do have some energy and we are up against the boss right now in battle drill so let's see what other players on our team have been doing yeah everybody is pretty much running this squad right here uh and it really just comes down to who has the most power now you might see a big difference in power based on uh how many levels and stuff like if you take corin way up there which i'm actually considering bringing him to plus 15 or even higher at this point uh this is the go-to team you can see there is a variant that uses smoky and mirky as well if that's who you got instead of lucius but it does seem like they're very comparable you can see everybody's getting a very similar hit in with this type of team so let's see what our team can do i don't know if we can out beat bogs or here but man it really does make me consider because the one thing with battle drills uh we have what we already have him the plus 15 is it worth taking him to plus 20 because as you all know one thing that happens in battle drills is the stronger the stars the more of like a multiplier you're essentially getting i can't remember if they actually put it anywhere in here uh here with leveler effective baseline difficulty i don't know if this actually says it anywhere but of course having them at plus 15 and higher is definitely a huge advantage do you think you know i've been I've been holding back just because Tassie is going to be a thing very, very soon here. But the amount of times we're using Corrin, I actually think taking him to plus 20 and eventually plus 25 might be worthwhile because of this light bearer thing. I mean, we're going to be using him for a very long time, right? And this is only 25 per level, I think. I mean, I think it's worthwhile. Going to plus 20. That is more than half of what we just had in total resources. Uh, and we don't currently have any of these special abyssal essence, although there is one in the season shop, the season store, but it's for 48,000. We're going to need all those extra events to get us there. Maybe we'll get one somewhere else. Let's see how this goes now that we have supercharged because I think I might only have one hit on the golem with this team here today. So again, if you guys are wondering the reference, I'm going to put this probably on the thumbnail as well. But again, the most important part here is the light bearer setup. We also just need to get Alsa in this team. Uh, the most important though is getting these heroes in the correct locations. Looks like we actually might have a couple hits with this team here today. And I think that's exactly what we wanted, right? So we got Alsa in the middle, we have her in front, and yeah, surprisingly enough, we're not using Tide Call spell. I thought we would to keep kind of keep like that 100% uptime, uh, but no, we're actually going with the resonating spell on this one for the best of the best. So now that we've powered him up, and he's now a five-star exclusive hero, we also, of course, have his, uh, his epic version, yeah, epic version unlocked. Let's see what our damage looks like. Now, sadly, we only have one attempt with Alsa, and I think Alsa is a very key important part of this because of the number of ultimates she gets off. But we'll see what happens here. I'm hoping we can somehow get a brand new record. If we get to like 100 million, that would be absolutely insane. But we'll have to see. Um, I'm really not sure if we're going to put up some crazy, crazy numbers or what. But this looks like a promising team. And everything is really heavily reliant on corn here. Now, I think the reason... I can't remember on this boss. I feel like this boss might actually interrupt you if you don't have shields. And that's why Lucius is so good on this one too. You see our damage climbing. We're up to 40 billion damage at this point, which is really, really good. 52. We're climbing, climbing, climbing up to the 60 billion mark right now. 12 seconds to go. I don't know if we're going to get crazy high at the end here. And I don't know if there's much RNG involved either. 
Yeah, about 70 billion. So not quite to the tippy top peak of uh, overall damage here. So you can see right here, he's the main one just cashing in right here, doing some really good stuff. So that's not bad. As far as damage wise, we're up there. We're, we're doing pretty good. We're not quite up with some of the other uh, damage dealers here. And it might, I don't know if having like plus 20 is a big difference maker here either. Most people are gonna have plus uh, 17. And yeah, you can see some people are using the Tide Call spell too. I figured that would be good. The only issue we're gonna have here today now though is that we lose our also because we don't have enough energy and we need to start going through some other teams here. So that is kind of like one of the really sad parts. The one thing that I feel like really struggles with Ryan here right now is that you, nobody puts them in the spot right here because you notice you can't just put him like here because the swap point is this tile, so it's kind of a negative. Let's see what happens if we just put in... Yeah, let's see what happens if we go with Sinbad. Sinbad's going to buff the damage. I don't know if this is going to be as devastatingly bad of a team when you don't have Alsa in it. And then we're also going to have to find some other teams that might be viable. But all I do know is this is like the best of the best team. Uh, there are some other teams that, oddly enough, use like Lily May, Brian, and things like that. Uh, I don't know if I have all the teams possible. I think I have a pretty solid Lily May team I can show you guys here as well that can do very, very well. But again, it really depends on how much uh, power you have on the exclusives. Although I don't know if the exclusive weapon difference, I don't know if that's changed since the previous season. I know before that was a huge deal, but you can see right here, the difference in damage, not having that also is like detrimental to your overall damage. It does nothing of what you need. So Overall, that team's not going to do good. Let's try some other setups here now that we've burned a lot of that energy. So the next one we're going to do is a Mikola Lily May type team here. So we're going to go here, here. We're going to go Lily May over here. We're going to go Reiner with the swap. And we're going to put Coco in. Oh, no, I don't have the Coco for this team. Oh, man. And that's going to be the really important part here is if we don't have shielding, this is going to go a little bad for us. Ooh, let's see how this actually turns out. Because I'm pretty sure with this boss, shielding is very important. So you need Lucius and you need uh, Coco, I think, as two of the really, really strong ones. Although there are some other teams that I've seen listed on Analytica too that don't have shielding. So it's probably not as big of a deal. I just don't think any team is going to even come close to remotely being equal to the... Uh, just It's just... <laughs> Corrin, man, making such a comeback. It's so strong. Yeah, you can see how little damage a team like this is doing. It's so, so crazy what's going on that even uh, former teams that were crushing it with damage just doesn't cut it anymore. It's just not doing the damage we need. If we check the leaderboards too, I imagine everybody on the leaderboards attempts is probably using a Corrin type team. Yeah, even these lower ones still have Corrin on them too. Corn, yeah, honestly, I think this attempt with Corn with the wrong heroes was like the next best attempt. Looks like you could go with some sort of Vala strategy too, but you can see the huge drop off in damage. Like it's nowhere near even close to what you would think it would be. Uh, the only other team that I'd want to try potentially is maybe a more physical oriented team with Lenya, something like this maybe. Put you up the front, put you over here, you over here. And maybe trying something like this. I don't know. Uh, we give it a shot. We see. But I think a lot of these teams that we're going to throw in here are just not going to do anywhere near as much damage. And so it really sucks because I wish you could just use that same team over and over. My big issue was I didn't. I totally forgot to put Alsa in at the very first day. And that obviously made a huge difference in the overall damage output, which really kind of sucks. It looks like this team might actually do quite good. Definitely over 10 billion. And that, that says something when quite good is 10 billion and the best teams are doing 60, 70, even 80 billion. So yeah, this one did manage to get to about 10 billion, which is not bad. I think I might save some of my attacks though. They are doing a decent chunk of damage here too. Uh, we need to start using some of these other heroes. I think having Thorn on a team nowadays, probably not the best play. Uh, probably want to go with like a Lily May. And sadly, oh, these teams are just not working out. To get faction bonuses either and that's probably one of the biggest issues here is not having a faction bonus really does hurt honestly doing something like this could be okay go with resonating spell let's see how this turns out 
The advantage of running Resonating Spell, though, is the fact that you're getting a ton of extra attack percentage. That's why it wins out a lot of times here. Don't know how good a Taylene team is going to do. She's pumping. She's definitely doing some crazy good damage. But <laughs> when you compare it, it's not nearly as good. Yeah, it looks like we'll probably throw this one attempt in. We'll hold off. Really, this was to highlight how strong Korn is right now. He is just ridiculous. Still doing like 8 billion with this, which, again, what? He was at 15%. Um, yeah, that only brings him down to 14. So uh, not the best for sure. Make sure you guys are claiming out all these rewards here. We're already up to level 4, which is awesome. We got lots of keys, lots of invites, and potentially... Yeah, lots more guild medals, which is awesome. So that is the team. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Corn is absolutely insanely strong. And honestly, if we're using them this much, I think I'm just going to take them to 25 whenever I can. Uh, it feels like a worthwhile investment. We have them at Paragon. We'll probably push them to Paragon 2 when we have time. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.